Financial services organizations, big or small, new and old, face the challenge of dealing with an increasing volume, complexity and velocity of change within their businesses. Appian believes a low-code platform can infuse this transformation with flexibility and speed, paving the way for better customer experiences, lower financial and operational risks, with greater controls and procedures, and more effective operational resilience to quickly adapt to change. Well, earlier, my colleague Juliet Foster spoke to Guy Metric, global industry lead for financial services at Appian. She began by asking him to provide some background on Appian and who they're working with. Um, Appian is a low-code automation platform that helps financial services companies rapidly build applications and automate processes. Um, once those uh, applications and processes have been deployed, they are quick to change and evolve to meet changing business requirements um, and also all of the other regulatory uh, uh, changes that are, are driving change across the financial services organization. We work with many different types of financial services firms um, from very large global banks such as Bank of Santander and State Street to capital markets firms like Janus Henderson and Harbourvest to infrastructure and data providers such as the Options Clearing Corporation, S&P, but also um, fast growing agile fintech firms like Payoneer as well, who also see the value in being able to manage and deploy applications across their landscape quickly and use them to uh, uh, help enable the rapid growth that they're seeing in their organizations. OK, so that's that's the backdrop, if you like. But when you consider as well that FSIs have plenty to think about, they really do have their hands full because I'm thinking about credit risk exposure, demanding customer experiences, regulatory compliance, of course, and the technical debt of legacy systems. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more, but it is overwhelming. But clearly you've found a way of dealing with that. But how do you boil it down for your customers? In other words, what are the fundamentals that they need to think about? For me, it's really about how these organizations manage change within their organization, within the firms that they operate. If you think about um, the business imperatives um, that organizations and firms have at the very top end of the business, it's about how you grow your revenues, it's how you reduce costs, how you manage your risk and compliance, um, and also, just as importantly, how you uh, um, deliver organizational resilience, which I think is something that's come through very much so in the last 18 months with all the disruption that COVID-19 has had globally. Um, it's now become an important factor that firms need to uh, consider as part of their business imperatives. If you think about how to achieve those, then technology can play an important part in all of those elements because through automation of manual processes, through the surfacing of data that exists within legacy systems, through automation of those processes, you are now starting to eliminate a lot of the potential bottlenecks that organizations have, a lot of the uh, um, unproductive, repetitive manual tasks that their staff have to go through in order to complete their work. This has dramatic impacts in the way that they deliver services to their customers. It makes them more efficient and effective, therefore reducing the cost of, of, of being able to manage these processes and also gives visibility and control against those processes. So you're really managing and delivering on your resilience and your risk mandates as well. This, I think, is very interesting because if you think about the uh, organizations through the lens of change, now you have drivers for change that are forcing organizations to adapt. COVID-19 is just the latest example of that, but it's examples such as technology, competition, regulatory change, technology. All of these drivers are forcing organizations to look at their business and figure out new ways to do things. Technology, if it's used well, uh, and I would argue that a low-code automation platform is an important element within that arsenal, can help deliver this change in a way that doesn't disrupt the existing business, but does deliver on all of those business imperatives that organisations have to deliver against. But then how does an organisation know what needs to change? 
Well, that really is an important element because all of this technology is incredibly powerful, but finding out where to get the most value from it has been uh, a point that organizations have struggled with for, for a while. This is whereby the development of things like process mining has become very important. Process mining is a technology by which you actually get to understand the real processes taking place within your organization in order to complete work. It captures all of the interactions that people have with the systems within an environment so that they get a clearer picture of where and how work is being completed. If you do that, then you are a much better position to be able to understand where the bottlenecks are, where the inefficiencies lie, where things are going wrong and breaking down. So process mining is an important element of that. And one of the reasons why Appian earlier this year acquired a company called Lana Labs, which is a process mining company, um, very, very successful at being able to understand where the value in automation lies. Appian's intention is to bring that all that functionality onto the Appian platform so that you have this virtual uh, uh, um, um, capability to be able to discover where the issues and uh, um, uh, opportunities lie within your organization to be able to design solutions to um, manage that and then actually deploy an automated solution to be able to benefit the organization. You can then obviously take all the data and output from that and then run that through process mining again to then see where else there are opportunities to enhance and uh, continually re uh, reimagine how your business is run. And this process that you can go through can be deployed in across your enterprise. And this really is starting to help deliver on some of the promise that, uh, that automation solutions have really been driving at for the last number of years. This is the, if you like, that final part of the puzzle. Okay, sound thoughts on which to end, but we're going to have to leave it there. Guy Metric, who's the Global Industry Lead Financial Services at Appian, thank you so much for joining us and enjoy Cybos 2021. Many thanks. Thank you.